Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to this week's midweek message. And uh, today I want to show you this envelope here, uh, which I've been given by John Broadhurst. And I hope you can read on it. Let me just adjust the light so you can see it better. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, anyway, if you can't see it, I can tell you it says honesty seeds, honesty seeds. <laughs> And uh, John gave me these seeds because um, John is a regular up at, uh, at Whitchurch at St Candida at the eight o'clock service. And usually there's me, John and Nigel who go to that service. And um, one of the many lovely flower decorations that are around the shrine is a vase that has a lot of honesty in it. And as you know, honesty is that wonderful purpley, pinky, sometimes whitey flower that comes up. And um, in the winter, it leaves its seeds pods and the seed pods are flat and you can brush the outer coating away and reveal these seeds, which are in here. <laughs> and also a thin papery oval which makes a lovely decoration uh, because it makes a nice branch and is a dried flower and it stays beautiful forever. I often admire the honesty at eight o'clock in the morning, uh, amongst many other things that I admire in the church and I chat with Nigel and John about before we start the service. And uh, John very kindly said to me, he had some honesty growing in his garden and he would bring me some seeds. And the other day he remembered to do it. So I was delighted. Well, of course, honesty is a wonderful idea and thought for a midweek message. And I don't know what the word honesty conjures up for you, um, but I think the flower in itself tells us a little about the meaning of honesty. Because of that papery, thin oval, there is a transparency there. And transparency is part of the nature of honesty. When something is open, clear, nothing is hidden. When honesty is being said and dealt with. We feel as if we understand that we are on firm ground and we understand what's what and who's what. In fact, I've looked up honesty and honest in the Bible and uh, most of the references in the Bible actually refer to economic dealings, uh, whether it's work or whether it's money or whether it's weights. And there's a real call for transparency and honesty in economic behaviour, which actually is an important theme in the Bible. And so if you want to look up the word honest, you'll be able to see that. But in looking through the Proverbs, because as you know, we've been looking at the wisdom books recently, there is a wonderful proverb about honesty, which I'd like to read for us. And it's uh, Proverbs 24, verse 26. And it says simply, an honest answer, an honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. <laughs> 